Sudáfrica tiene el uso de la palabra. Mr. President, the declaration on the granting of independence to colonial countries and peoples, Resolution 1514 of 1960, makes important points that serve as ordering principles of international law. Article 1 proclaims that the subjection of peoples to alien subjugation, domination and exploitation constitutes a denial of fundamental human rights. Article 2 states that all peoples have the right to self-determination. Article 4 states that all armed action or repressive measures of all kinds directed against dependent peoples shall cease. Against the background of the liberation struggle of the people of South Africa, it is for us a cause for deep concern that these articles are continuously and flagrantly violated in the case of the Palestinian people. Mr. President, the High Commissioner's comprehensive review on the status of recommendations addressed to all parties since 2009 raises serious concerns which are shared by my delegation, most particularly the fact that the report coincides with the 50th year of Israeli occupation. South Africa wishes once again to register its most serious concern related to the construction of the apartheid wall in the occupied Palestinian territory, ongoing impunity for violations of international human rights law and international humanitarian law, the lack of accountability related to past cycles of violence and escalation in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem and in the access restricted areas of the Gaza Strip, and the fact that recommendations calling for the implementation of international human rights standards and previous recommendations made by the United Nations remain largely unimplemented by Israel and the Palestinian authorities. Mr. President, the parties would do well to consider Nelson Mandela's words. I knew as well as I knew anything that the oppressor must be liberated just as surely as the oppressed. A man who takes away another man's freedom is a prisoner of hatred. He is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow-mindedness. I am not truly free if I am taking away someone else's freedom, just as surely as I am not free when my freedom is taken from me. The oppressed and oppressor alike are robbed of their humanity. I thank you.